Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here in my closet, my cosplay closet, because I'm gonna be giving you guys all, literally all of my main top secrets. If you guys are new, hi, I'm Jay Bunsey and I do a lot of character cosplays where I need to look like an exact replica. I do a lot of transformations uh, using makeup and costume tips and tricks to achieve a very close exact look to the character that I'm trying to be. And so along the years, I have collected a lot of information on how to make your costume just look so great. And so in this video, we're gonna be talking about exactly that, where to shop, um, it just general advice about cosplay, uh, specifically the costume, wigs, and accessories. We're gonna get into makeup in a different video, but I figured I'd share like all the places that I shop at and like tricks that I do to make them look as good as they do. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're first gonna be talking about where to shop. So I've divided this into three categories, super suits, princess dresses, and just live action characters. So we're gonna talk about first the super suits. So if you're looking to cosplay Spider-Man, The Incredibles, anything that requires a spandex full body suit, um, my favorite place to shop, and honestly the only place I shop at, is um, Arachnid Studios. So Arachnid Studios is an interesting shop because you buy the design from Arachnid Studios and they have a recommendation on their website, and this is not sponsored by the way, totally not sponsored, but um, they have a recommendation on the website on where to get the design made into an actual costume. And so those are two different purchases you have to do. It's a two step process. But even with the two step process, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of costumes on like Etsy per se. So I feel like that's my favorite and his designs are like really three dimensional. Like he uh, puts a lot of like muscle definition on the super suit. So I feel like I just overall have always been happy with his quality of design. And I actually have one over here. Let me see if I can find it. Here you go. This is the Elastigirl super suit that I never got to wear. I've been meaning to do Elastigirl for a while. Um, and like I told you, you see like the, the definition that he adds to make it look like you're super fit and he has like the boobs drawn in and the butt. It's a great great suit and I can't wait to actually wear it someday because it's gonna be awesome um, but this is an example of one of them and I have another one as well uh, the Danny Phantom which I am going to be wearing soon too <laughs> um, so these are my fave and they look amazing and they're not that expensive compared to a lot of other places now let's talk about princess dresses um, so Princess Dresses, there's a few websites that I really like. The first one is Hannah Castle Store. They're in collaboration with Disney and a lot of their costumes are great. I'm going to show you one right now. So Hannah Castle Store is one of my all-time favorites. 95% of my dresses on that rack are from Hannah Castle Store, with the exceptions of a few that are from different stores, which I will talk about in a second. So the reason why I love Hannah Castle Store is because not only the accuracy, but it looks like a live action interpretation and is because the company is always mixing the fabrics. Cosplay tip number one, mixing fabrics or fabric textures makes your cosplays look so much more expensive than you probably spent on it, especially if you DIY. It's gonna look like you spent three times that because in reality, a lot of these characters would have different fabric textures. So if you make like, for example, like Ash from Pokemon, if you make his jacket out of cotton and then the shirt out of cotton and the jeans out of cotton, it's just gonna look like a really cheap costume. So if you can help find, um, if you can help to find multiple different textures, it's gonna definitely make your cosplay look way more detailed and way more high quality. And that's what Hannah Castle Store does. And so that's like a number one for me if a costume has different textures, I love it. So um, yeah. But we're gonna, they are a little bit expensive, so we're gonna talk about lesser expensive companies. So let's do that. All right, so I'm pulling out my Megra dress. If you guys have not seen my TikTok of me as Megra, make sure you follow me on TikTok because I do a lot of cosplays that I don't do on here just yet. Um, so the second company for princess gowns I'm gonna be recommending is Angel Secret. Um, so this is an independent designer. She makes it all handmade and Especially for the quality, the quality is amazing. Again, the dresses are lined, the the different, you know, fabric textures. 
and she has a lot of characters that Hand the Castle Store does not. Um, now I really recommend this little pro tip here and that is to look for that brand on secondhand websites like eBay or Poshmark. You can get a lot of used uh, princess gowns on there for way less so if you're looking to save money, highly recommend doing that as well. Um, so now we're going to be talking about live action characters. Now what I mean by live action, and I'm going to group this in with characters who dress live action-y. This goes for characters like in Stranger Things, um, characters like in The Walking Dead, um, Anastasia the Musical, um, anything thrifted looking or just normal people looking clothes. A great place to look is literally everywhere. <laughs> Here are some, I'm going to give you obviously narrow down some sh few shops to look at. I highly recommend checking eBay if you're looking like for maybe a Hermione outfit if she has a specific jacket on and most of the times those jackets are like from places like H&M and stuff. Look on eBay, um, look on Etsy, look on Depop, Poshmark. If you know the brand that your character is wearing, um, then that's even better because then you can type in the brand and even find the exact same one they use in the TV show. So, and if you guys want um, some help on like, what should I type? What should I put in? Check out my um, second channel. I have a video where I talk about how to find vintage pieces online uh, using the right key terms and using the right descriptions and you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna link that down below and that should definitely help you find the pieces you're looking for really quickly. Now, speaking of Etsy, you can just about find any cosplay on there as well. The reason why it wasn't my first recommendation is because the prices are much higher than if you were to buy from a manufactured company. Um, but granted, these are people who are making these costumes themselves by hand, so the price, you know, reflects the hard work that they put into it. So if you're not dollar shy and you like to support smaller creators, Etsy is a great place to do that. And I actually bought this Sally dress from my live action night before Christmas video. If you guys have not seen that, make sure you do. I'm gonna link it down below. It's amazing, it's all CGI. Um, <laughs> but I got this dress on there and honestly it served a great purpose. It looks great and I'm not mad about it. So um, yeah, look on there, especially if you're looking for a Tim Burton style character. A lot of sellers do amazing Tim Burton costume um, replicas, so. Yeah. So now let's talk about hair. Hair is a very important factor to a cosplay. I love to use my real hair when I can because that looks the most realistic, especially if your character is a live action character already. Um, but whenever you need a wig that is not of your natural hair color, I got you. So what I really recommend is three different products for three different reasons and three different shops for three different reasons. The first one being if I'm looking to do a character that has just a ton of hair, if their hair is really thick or if they have some kind of like 80s hairdo that's really large or if they have a very unnatural color like neon or something like that, I really recommend getting a synthetic wig. So this is a synthetic wig that I got from Wig is Fashion. Wig is Fashion is my number one for synthetics. They have lace fronts so the hairlines look really realistic. They have a ton, a ton of hair. Um, so I really recommend Wig is Fashion for synthetics all the way, plus their prices are really fair. So that is my first recommendation. Now if you're looking to cosplay a real life character, that could be a character like Daenerys from Game of Thrones, or any, any character like Hermione that's using their like legitimate hair and you want to look really realistic, um, obviously go for real hair. Now here's a trick, I've made a lot of hair purchasing mistakes in my time when it comes to real hair. Um, Amazon. That's all I gotta say. You see how long this one is? This one was like 50 bucks or something like that. No, this was this one this one was 80. I think this one was actually 80. Um, but yeah, this is a full lace, full lace hair, so that means like you can part it and put it in a ponytail and everything like that. And um, what I love to do is dye the wigs. So here's another one that I bought on Amazon that I dyed purple. This was for my Mao, um, my Mao from Descendants cosplay. And obviously it looks a little funny now because she's washed, but you saw how silky and pretty it looked in the video when I straightened it out. So yeah, that's, what, that's my biggest recommendation right there. And if you're looking for extensions, um, you can get extensions from a lot of places, but I've always just found myself going back to Bell and Me extensions, um, especially like their ponytails, like I'm wearing one right now. This one's human hair and this one is synthetic hair. 
um, and they're pretty fairly priced and the quality is really good. So I'm not mad about Bellamy. But yeah, those are my top three places. I never really buy from anywhere else. I have bought from a lot of other places and have always been left disappointed. So that is why I recommend those three brands. Now the next thing we're gonna be talking about is colored contacts. Colored contacts plays a huge role on a lot of cosplays. Whether the character has a different natural eye color than you, maybe a different eye pattern or eye shape, um, contacts make a huge difference in your cosplay and are often times, more often than not, very necessary. So some places that I like to shop for contacts is Desio Eyes. Desio Eyes makes really high quality natural contacts that last for a very long time. Desio Contacts is amazing for natural eye colors. If you want it to look real up close, Desio is 100% my favorite. Um, so they're a little bit higher than the average eye contact company for cosplay, but they're way more affordable than a lot of natural, you know, eye doctor type contacts. And um, they just look amazing up close. Like I've worn blue contacts before of Desio and people have gotten this close to my face and they can't tell I'm wearing contacts. So high key recommend. Um, now, if you're looking for a character with an unnatural color or pattern or size, I've, I've been shopping at TDDI, TTDI? I think that's what they're called, TDDI. And my third contact company that I recommend is Scalera. I think they're a brand. They make the full black eyes. So if you're looking for like, um, just to mute out the existence of your eyes altogether, Scalera is great. They're very expensive, but that's because they completely cover your eye and they have to make it to not like harm you. So there's a lot of more work that goes behind Scalera's, but if you got the money and you're doing a character with no eyes, Scalera's for you. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that way I can see you in my